Jose Inez Garcia Zaravi, San Francisco peer killing suspect, found not guilty of murder. The homeless Mexican immigrant who was pilloried by then-candidate Donald Trump after he was accused of fatally shooting a woman on a San Francisco pier was found not guilty of murder on Thursday. Jose Inez Garcia Zarate was acquitted in a case that galvanized anti-immigration forces and forced San Francisco officials to defend their sanctuary city policy. Catherine Steinle, 33, died in her father's arms when she was shot on July 1, 2015, while they and a family friend were strolling along Pier 14 in the city's tourist-friendly Embarcadero district. We're just shocked. Saddened and shocked. That's about it, Jim Steinle, Kate's father, told the San Francisco Chronicle. There's no other way you can coin it. Justice was rendered, but it was not served. In her closing argument, Deputy District Attorney Diana Garcia said the suspect found the gun somewhere and deliberately fired at Steinle in his own secret version of Russian roulette. The bullet that felled Steinle ricocheted off the pier's concrete walkway before it struck her. Garcia Zarati was found guilty of being a felon in possession of a firearm. Defense attorney Matt Gonzalez told jurors that the shooting was a tragic accident and that prosecutors were pushing a wild narrative of a desire to hurt someone he does not know. Gonzalez said that Garcia Zarati found the semi-automatic handgun wrapped in a shirt under a chair on the pier, and that it went off by accident when he picked it up. The weapon, as it turned out, had been stolen from a Federal Bureau of Land Management ranger a week before. The six-man, six-woman jury was asked to consider first-degree murder, second-degree murder and involuntary manslaughter charges against Garcia Zarate. Trump seized on the Garcia Zarate case during the campaign as proof that the United States needs his proposed border wall. After he was elected president, Trump signed an executive order to cut funding from cities that limit cooperation with immigration authorities, a policy that a federal judge in San Francisco permanently blocked last week. Garcia Zarate, who also used the name Juan Francisco Lopez Sanchez, had been deported five times before the deadly encounter. He had finished a federal prison sentence for illegal re-entry into the United States and was transferred in March 2015 to San Francisco's jail to face a 20-year-old charge for selling marijuana. But three months before the deadly encounter on the pier, Garcia Zarate was released after the district attorney dropped the marijuana charge, despite a request by federal immigration authorities to detain him for yet another deportation. Attorney General Jeff Sessions expressed his displeasure over the verdict in a statement that claimed San Francisco's decision to release Garcia Zarate led to the preventable and heartbreaking death of Kate Steinle. The Department of Justice will continue to ensure that all jurisdictions place the safety and security of their communities above the convenience of criminal aliens, Sessions said. I urge the leaders of the nation's communities to reflect on the outcome of this case and consider carefully the harm they are doing to their citizens by refusing to cooperate with federal law enforcement officers. Senator Ted Cruz of Texas was one of the seven Republican senators who in January reintroduced Kate's law, which would create a five-year minimum sentence for those immigrants who illegally re-entered the country, and shared his anger over the verdict on Twitter. Eric Swalwell, the Democratic congressman who represents Steinle's district, also said he was disappointed by the verdict. I greatly respect our jury system, Swalwell tweeted, but I could not disagree more with this verdict. I pray for Kate's family. Trump weighed in on the verdict late Thursday, tweeting, a disgraceful verdict in the Kate Steinle case. No wonder the people of our country are so angry with illegal immigration.